Hello guys, welcome to today's video where we'll be talking about the alimentary canal, which is also known as the digestive tract. The whole point of the digestive system is to break down the big molecules found in our diet into a small soluble form for the absorption. Now let's look at the picture of our digestive tract. Human digestive tract is about 7 to 9 meters long. It begins with the mouth and this is the salivary gland which functions to secrete the saliva from the mouth then followed by esophagus then stomach And this is the pancreas. I will talk more about the function of each organ later. This is the gallbladder and duodenum, which is the first part of our small intestine, followed by ileum. Both ileum and duodenum are part of the small intestine. So after the small intestine, there will be large intestine which comprises of the colon and the rectum then the human digestive tract will end with anus now let's look at what happened in each part of the digestive tract I'll cut this elementary tract into a few parts and we'll have a look at each cut. Now let's look at the first stop which is your mouth. The act of taking the food into the mouth is known as ingestion. And also, digestion will begin in the mouth as well. And there are two types of digestion which we'll be talking about here. First would be the mechanical digestion. Second would be chemical digestion. So, what do we mean by mechanical digestion? During mechanical digestion, your teeth will start breaking down the larger food pieces into smaller bits. This is to increase the surface area for enzyme action. Remember, the whole purpose of the digestive system is to break down the food into smaller and smaller pieces so that the nutrients contained in the food can be released and used by your body. Chewing also makes the food with saliva, which is secreted by the salivary glands. Saliva contains mucus which lubric lubricates and moistens the food so that the food can be easily swallowed. So remember that mechanical digestion involves chewing and slicing by the teeth and also mixing with saliva. So what is chemical digestion? When we say chemical, it means that enzymes is involved. Chemical digestion means breaking down of the complex food molecule into simple and soluble molecules by using enzyme as catalyst. Do you have any idea how you salivate just before you are about to eat something? 
that's actually the effect of your eyes or nose sensing something delicious. This will send the message to your brain telling that you're about to open your mouth and take a bite. And then your mouth will get ready by producing the saliva. The enzyme in your saliva is known as salivary amylase. This enzyme will start breaking down long carbohydrate molecules as soon as you put the food into your mouth. And the long carbohydrate molecule is known as starch. Starch will be broken down into a shorter carbohydrate molecule known as maltose. The pH in your mouth is 7, which is the optimum pH for the action of your salivary amylase. During swallowing, the food will be formed into a ball by the tongue and push the back of the mouth down to the esophagus. And the ball of food is known as bolus. So the bolus of food will pass through the esophagus by peristalsis. Peristalsis is defined as wave-like contraction and relaxation. of the circular muscles in the elementary canal. So circular muscle is actually the inner muscular layer of the elementary canal. And the outer one is known as longitudinal muscle layer. Peristalsis basically means the rhythmic muscular contractions within the esophagus. What happens is it pushes the foot down to the stomach by contracting behind the foot bolus and relaxing in front of it. So essentially, the foot kind of makes its way down because it is contracting above it and relaxing below it. So can you see? The foot is actually pushed down by the contraction of the muscle. So remember, the keyword here is peristalsis. Okay guys, we'll talk about the next part of digestion in the next video. Hope you guys learned.